Hello, welcome to the Church Percussionist. I'm Dennis Shakewitz, the Church Percussionist. This channel is dedicated to the use of ethnic percussion, uh, no matter where it comes from, for the worship of the Lord Jesus Christ. After all, he deserves everything we can give him. Uh, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe and like my channel and please share it with others. This channel is designed so that I can show whether it be another percussionist, drummers, uh, worship ministers, uh, whoever you are, how to use percussion or how I've learned how to use percussion uh, in the worship setting. Uh, I've talked about different instruments before, but I want to talk about some very specific instruments today. Uh, two very specific ones, one that you're all probably very familiar with and that you have seen. This is the shikare. Uh Some people pronounce it shikare, shikare. It's spelled in different ways. It's uh, even different forms of it might be called Agbe. Uh, it's a great instrument that I use um, to a lot of effect in uh, worship settings because from one transition to another, I may go from congas to bongos to uh, using a widow, uh, or I might use uh, different shakers or this shikare. And there's some very specific techniques in using uh, a shaker egg. This one is a fiberglass model. It's an LP model. It's the Jim Griner LP model, which is a very nice model, which is great because it, it's made of fiberglass, which means if I drop it, which is not unusual to happen, um, I'm not going to just shatter this one to pieces. I would be very, very distraught if I had a natural board one that I dropped and it broke. Uh, but this is a very good one. It has a very nice sound, uh, both with the bass tone and with the skirt sound but there are some very uh, interesting techniques with this it's kind of like um well one technique is kind of like an upside down palm finger like you would see on your congas you can see what, like this so let me demonstrate it a little bit for you okay so i'm just going to do a very uh simple rhythm this is called Wido, and uh, it's a six eight rhythm very loud here in my percussion booth normally I like to either wear earplugs or when I have my in-ears it's protecting my ears very well so I can tell this now what other people are hearing and why they have me uh, surrounded with um, clear sonic panels but this is just a very great instrument uh, and can be used in a lot of other settings other than a just a uh, regular worship setting it can be used in uh, smaller settings as well it's just a great instrument and this is called the shaker a now, an offshoot that I want to talk about from this, uh, I discovered a few years ago, and I made several different designs uh, of this. Now, this is called the Shake It Balls, but this is the one that um, I find to be the most practical. I've made some different ones with different kinds of pots. I used uh, even a, a Thai sticky pot to make one, uh, actually a couple of them. But this seems to be, right now, the best one that I've made. And yes, it is just what it looks like. It is a a pail or, or a bucket and it has holes drilled in it and you can stick screws in it uh, with uh, the washers on either side and of course these are locking nuts here on the inside of it well this is the one that i made and you can see the design that i have around on it and of course i had to cut the uh little carrying rod off of it whatever you call that the pail but i took that off and it has similar characteristics to this as far as what the sound is, but it is uh, very different because it's metallic. So let's give this a try here. Let's see how this sounds in here. And the technique can be done one of two ways. I can either be doing it from side to side like this or like a shaker ray. So let's take a look at this. I'm doing it from side to side. Okay, and that's from side to side like that, or I can do it like this. And you will hear, you will hear that metallic slap sound. Now 
Now let's try that same rhythm that I did earlier, which was called Wira. And that's the Shekhar Ball. I have not actually used this uh, in worship. Uh, I just recently put new screws in it. As you can tell, I'm not a terribly skilled uh, metal worker yet, but I'm getting there. And these are not exactly straight, but they sure do make a racket. I love this instrument. So if you haven't been playing one, or if you haven't been playing one of these either, a Shekhar, uh, you may want to get one and put it to use and learn the techniques. There's a lot of great videos online on how to play a shaker egg. and it is a very, very effective, very enjoyable instrument. So thank you very much. This is uh, the Church Percussionist. I'm Dennis Shakewitz. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time around.